Greetings, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 25 of my playthrough of Age of Wonders 4, playing as Betty Lifetaker, Chaos Princess of the Ratkin, and we're about to fight the long-awaited battle for Cragwell. So, Betty, just going to jump in, lead the attack. We've been sieging it down for the last five or six turns. Unfortunately, our reinforcing units here can't get involved, but there's only four enemy. Uh, Garma Jade Skull. And we've got a Fury, a Warrior, and a Cinderer. They're only level 2 and level 1. So, I was going to say hopefully we won't lose any units, but I just remembered Nymphs in particular. Pretty weak. As are the uh, Fire Golems. Uh, uh, fire Elementals. Right. You're all running over there. You've got caltrops almost all around. I don't think there's a path through them. Apart from through the main gate. So I guess we head for the main gate. Yeah, let's get you in the move. You could come up to there, but you can't reach anyone. Bring you over here. We'll keep your spells for now. You stay back out of the way. Right, let's bring these guys forward. Betty, we don't want you charging in, really. Caltrop's all around there, so you come around this way. You as well. And I want to keep you reasonably far back, so I think we do have Betty come forward to there. And we need to remember they've got these Ballistae that can damage us. And they're nymphs. You can't get close enough to possess anybody yet. So we'll just move you step slightly further forward and then cast Revitalize. In fact, it's probably better for you. Uh, not to cast Revitalize. How do I cancel that? I don't want to do that. Um, don't want to do that either. But come down here and then Revitalize there. You've got Aspect of the Root, actually. Cast that just now then. Get up to full hit points. you don't have any healing. You can't do anything. No. I mean, you could cast regeneration. But do you already have regeneration? No, no, just cast that. Yes. Stacks up to five times. So let's that as well. And they're also hastened. Okay. Uh, these archers head around there. You've moved. The magma spirit. No magma elementals. I just keep you there for now. Hang on, you can cast. No, you can't reach that, can you? You 
can, and you almost kill it as well. Anybody else able to reach there? Now that I've noticed that. A bit too late. How unfortunate. No. That's a pity, I could have taken it out. Never mind. Uh, you are... Oh, you've got aspect of the route as well. You healed yourself. Keep your sprint for now. And keep your restore until you get closer into these guys. Right, end the turn. up the walls, I suppose. Right, I... You should be able to take that down. Let's just move you to... Is there a path up there? There is. But we're not sending you that direction. So, let me see. 85% chance of hitting from there. Destroy it. Well, that is destroyed. I'm going to cast good old Ignite yep, on the Toad. Stay away from there. You come up, charge right into his flank. You're not taking any damage from Caltrops en route. Excellent. I should actually have... Maybe tried to seduce him, but no, we won't. Um, Betty Life Taker. your options. Fire. No, that's going to hit our own troops as well. I think it's going to be a lightning evocation then. Actually, it looks like this would possibly do more damage. Set some of fire as well. Good stuff. Right. Can't quite finish them. Let's have a view up here. And cast that in on all these guys. Hit chance there, but you don't do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, I don't think we really need to worry about having lesser magma spirits in our army for much longer. Uh, 
Can you cast that up here? No. And it takes three movement points, so we're not doing that either. Let's have you... Yeah, I don't want to be too close to those guys, as I said. I think we'll just have you up in... Uh, here. chance of 85 there but I don't want to be around that side so step up here a bit shoot get enough and now you can finish them nice right you shoot up at them from where you are Dreadful. You've got no choice but to come right here. And if you're out of range trying to shoot them, they must be out of range trying to shoot you back. Let's have you head up here as well. Can't reach them, but you should be safe. Let's bring you up. Unfortunately, you can't reach them. That's us. Forgotten about those archers. No, you're going after Betty. But you came through the Caltrops to get there. Right. Can I take anybody out with this? Not quite, but near enough. And you can reach them from where you are. Fourteen damage as opposed to that. No, uh, well that always hits. That's the thing. Twenty-five percent chance, but this hits for sure, and it might freeze them. Good. You hit them with a magic blast as well. You do the same. That's good. One. Can you get around there and kill them? Uh, you're going to go through burning. Right, you don't take any damage from anybody, so you come round and attack. I mean, you don't take damage from any caltrops. It's good enough for you. Betty, you should be able to finish that unit up there. And that leaves us with this load. Let's have... 50% chance of hitting from up there, but it's the same down here. Let's get you around in behind them. We'll have the archers step over here, get as many shots in as we can. You can over to. One more. Oh, I missed. Yeah, when you get in there. And we've still got a few magic blasts and the like 
to throw at them. Let's give the fire, sp uh, fire spirits or magma spirits their chance. And then Scald. You get the honour. Nice. Good stuff. And we didn't lose a unit. Mana Siphon are reclaimed. After your victory against Cragwell, Parseval Kingfisher immediately visits you. You vanquished the wise croakers. The Mana Siphoner is finally ours to claim. I already had some custodians search the city's vaults, my liege. They tell me that the Mana Siphoner was kept in pristine condition. Moreover, the vault is laden with treasures and relics. Ours for the taking. Let us loot. No. Liberate these prizes from the greedy wise croakers, my Chaos Princess. A feverish gleam has settled in Parseval Kingfisher's eyes. We rightfully possess the Mana Siphoner once again. The vaults of Cragwell are ours to plunder. Chaos Presents better to care. What trophy will you claim? Mana Siphoner. Yeah, okay. Betty may well take that. Take the priceless treasures of gold and silver. Gain 734 gold or 269 Imperium. Hmm. I think we're going to take the Imperium this time. Cragwell's crown jewels will decorate my throne hall, elevating its splendour. Right, and Cragwell itself. I don't know if I want it under my control. Migrate it to the evil Talpids. I think we'll vassalize it. I don't want it to be one of my own cities. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just vassalize it. Right, uh, now we can go and explore beyond uh, immediate environs. Come over here. And army of Betty, head up there. Right, and you're stuck where you are. Good stuff. Uh, remains of Garma Jade Skull have been collected, so Garma died. Inspect. Lightning Sword. Visor of Farsight, plus one defense. Just with Vitalik, plus two defense. Didn't do you very much good, did it? Um, Barb Shield. Yeah, I'm going to take all this stuff. So, Cell Remains. Yeah. Yeah. Not interested in uh, generating anything from there. Let's have a look at our heroes. Betty. What do we have? Chestplate of Vitality. Magic attack, deal plus 20 damage. Okay. There was... Oh no, um... The... B -b 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 uh, what's her name? What's her name? It's annoying me. Oh, we don't actually have her. One of the folk in our, one of the, the heroes that we captured last time had a robe, but I think it was the same, exactly the same type of robe. So... Ring of Opportunity, you've already got Ring of Vicious Killer. Increase morale penalties when killing an enemy. Uh, you don't really get into melee combat, or you shouldn't anyway, so you shouldn't need opportunity attack bonuses. Mana Siphoner as opposed to 
this corruption orb. At least it's a magical boat. 90% chance of inflicting with fortune. 22 damage. This 16 damage. When killing a unit against him, yeah, that's not that that's not that good, to be honest. I much prefer our corruption orb. And your boar, you've already got a warg, it's level one, tier one, uh, these are tier two, so yeah, there's nothing really there. Advisor of Farsight gains plus one defence, you could take that, I suppose. And yeah, I could disenchant some of this stuff, but I always keep it in the hope that someone I get uh, heroes that can use it. Uh, so confirm that. Let's have a look at there's blister. You have. Reinforced Armour of Hexing, plus two defence, ignore status resistance. Okay, uh, and I like you with your giant's bane. Ring of Opportunity, plus 30% damage on opportunity attacks, sounds good. Yep, that's you done. Orb of Seeing. Yeah, take that. Why not? Confirm you. Parsival or Orca. You could do with some new stuff. Just Blade of Vitality. You have that. And you have. Crusaders Claymore. 20% damage per hex travelled up to 3 hexes, a charge strike. That's what defend mode. Retaliation attacks and opportunity attacks deal 20% damage. Plus 20% damage. Yeah, well, you're keeping your Crusaders Claymore. That looks very good, actually. That does push back. Sentinel, yeah. And that does 30 damage, and Dwarven Hammer does 32 damage. Push back, targets push back by one hex. I think we'll give you the Dwarven Hammer instead of your Cursed Claymore. Yeah, and that suits you much better. That's clearly the, the weapon designed for you to use. And that's you done. Right, um, let's have a look at Parseval. Is there anything you could potentially use? You've got a nice nightmare. And lightning orb is in place of your bow, so no. Right, that's us done. Uh, got orders required up here. Were you heading south? I think you were. And there's nothing, obviously. That's the edge of the map over there. So let's have you head down through here. Nothing to see down there either. Where's the other turtle? There it is. Come up to this flotsam. And keep going. Big bad thing. And we're at the end of the turn. Nobody wants to build anything. Well, I suppose I could potentially hasten something. You've got the arcane battlements going. Board. And again, I could recruit the unit. Let's come back to Mount Ward. Uh, 
to another berserker or another glade runner go for the glade runner and back in rivergate get another glade runner there too right and now we'll end the turn There's a lot of you up there. I wonder if that's something that uh, the what, mystic putters is that what you're called? Putting mystics. I was close. I wonder if, if they spawned something up there. Right. Empire development skill available again. Ooh. Rain of destruction. Raising cities takes two tons less. Raising cities yields plus 50 gold per population. Gain a unit tier 3 Unit of the raised city's culture. Your throne city loses one population but immediately summons a Balor. Tier 5. Melee strikes, Sunder the Earth, Chaos Brand. S targets becomes Berserk until the end of the bar battle. That's interesting. And that costs 500 Imperium, which I can afford. But we've got other things to do. So remember that. Uh, Rivergate needs production. Brilliantium can annex another province, though. I thought I had. Oh, there's Harbour that we've already got. Fishing ground. So we get the fish farm. We're going to annex this anyway, and we get what is this? Five tide spirits against our poor wee turtle. Run away! And you can uh, stay together. Brilliantium produced to Masonic Hall. We've got loads of money. Solar Sanctum, plus one province annex range, plus ten gold, plus two city stability per population. Costs 560. Okay, but uh, Rivergate. Yeah. Can also set production here. Hmm. It'd be. Well, it, pres it provides more city stability uh, per population, so it's more effective there, but it's not needed. Let's go for the monolith here, just because it's cheap and we've got a lot of money. And Brilliantium. In the mint. Get even more money. Okay, and we'll head up to Cragwell. Continue to explore. Here. Quarry occupied. Don't want to pillage it. Two tons. Is that part of Cragwell's domain? I think it is. Yes, Cragwell's domain, so I'll go up there. So I'm not going to pillage my vassal. This is the limit, it looks like. Okay. Get you organised. We've got the spider on its way up here as well. You can't get out to see this time. Oh, not very good. You are heading up here somewhere. 
And you're going to see is okay, fair enough. And you, yeah, we're going to go up and attack Astralonium, so that's going to be for the next. Well, we need to lay siege to it, don't we? So, I suppose you could come up here. You come up, stand next to them. If you get in there, actually, you merge in. Okay. Now, can we attack? Don't think anyone's got the range. You're the only one that's adjacent, aren't you? You can't go any further. Yeah, we need to do that next time then. Who still needs orders? Oh, uh, you. Sailing around, swimming around. Not much to see at sea. And that's the end of the turn. Okay, so I'm going to put in a break here. We'll pick this up again next time out when we will lay siege to Astralonium. Probably uh, come back up from underground at Cragwell. Although there's still stuff around here that we can go and look at. We might be able to find a way up to the surface here. But for now, uh, it's get me back up. There we go. Uh, yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.